Hi, welcome to the Red Studio intro movie. This is the first movie I've made since 2007, so I apologize for the long delay, but it's January 1st, 2013, so I got kind of motivated this morning. Um, first thing you'll know is that Red Studio creates a 100% store procedure driven data tier based upon a SQL Server database. You can create all kinds of applications with Red Studio. Um, you can create Windows applications, websites, web services. I'm not listed here as Windows services, and basically any type of .NET applications where you have SQL Server as the database. Um, what you're going to need is the next step, and that's going to be Visual Studio 2010 or Visual Studio 2012. You're also going to need SQL Server 2000 or higher. And optionally, Regionizer, you can download from CodePlex at regionizer.codeplex.com. That's another tool by Data Juggler. And if you look at our code, you'll see why. Uh, you'll think you'll need it. But And hopefully you're familiar with C Sharp and T-SQL and um, Store Procedures. So the first step is for us to install the Rad Studio database. So let's open up SQL Server. If you're using 2012, you can just attach to the database, but if not, um, you can run the SQL scripts. The scripts are located in the database directory in the Red Studio download. All right, now you'll notice here that the path C database is hard-coded, so you're going to want to change that if you don't like that directory. So either create that directory or you're going to want to change it to whichever one you want. And there we've created our database. The next step is to create the Red Studio tables. So we're going to run the store procedure and change the database to Rad Studio. And there we've created our Rad Studio tables. And lastly, we're going to create the Rad Studio store procedures. So we're going to run that SQL and change the database to Rad Studio. And there we've created our Rad Studio database. And just to show you, um, I'll show you the tables and the and here's the store procedures. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and close SQL Server. And the next step is to install the Rad Studio templates. So if you open up, this is inflate again. If you go to the project templates directory in Rad Studio download, copy the two zip files. You're going to want to copy these to your users directory be users, then your name or whatever your profile is, my documents, Visual Studio 2010 and or 2012, I install it into both. And C Sharp, here's the, I already have the templates installed, but that's where you'd copy them right here. And optionally you can create the web and the windows uh, directory. In the windows I have both of them, in the web I just put the class library. And that installs the templates. So the next step is for us to create our first project. So before we get started, we're going to make sure you have the count widget database installed. Well, let's first create the, uh, we're going to use the project template, Red Studio class library, and we're going to create the count widget data lib. All right, that gives us our project templates. Now we're going to go ahead and build just to make sure everything compiles, and it does. And there's one thing we need to do. I wasn't aware of it when I made the templates. For some reason, the gateway is missing a reference to the data access component. Oops, wrong place. Sorry. Uh, go to References, Add Reference, and just select the gateway. It's the only unchecked. Or make sure they're both checked. They should all three be checked. So... Uh, anyway, sorry about that. So make sure the uh, you have your references set. Now we're going to go ahead and rebuild again. All right. And now, before we can build our project, we're going to open up SQL Server again. And I want to make sure you have the uh, Count Widget Database installed. So uh, it's, I'm going to save a little bit of time on this video because it takes a little while to show you all the features of Red Studio. But just uh, you can attach the Red the Count uh, Wizard Count Widget database, or you can uh, run the SQL scripts. 
They'll be available for download by the time you uh, watch this, hopefully, or very soon thereafter. If not, email me at support at datajuggler.com. All right, and now we're going to, before we can run Stat Red Studio, there's one thing we need to do. The mouse is a little unresponsive while I'm recording, so I'm sorry it's kind of a little slow navigating here. Alright, so we're going to open up Rad Studio Code Generation Toolkit. And then the Rad Studio Client, you're going to open up the app.config file. And you're going to need to change the settings here. And I'll show you how to do that now. Go ahead and erase what's there. And <coughs> we're going to open up Inflate again. Go to the Rad Studio download directory. In the Tools folder, go to the Red Studio Configuration Manager. Navigate to the bin directory in the Debug folder to the Red Studio Configuration Manager.exe, and that'll launch this program here. Here, you just enter the database server. All right. Database name is Rad Studio, and we'll go ahead and change it to Windows Authentication and Update. And now you're going to copy that to your clipboard, and that way, whatever you know your SQL database name is, you'll be able to run Rad Studio now. So, so I'll go ahead and paste that in here, and let me clean that up real quick and save the file. All right, and now we're going to build again. And now we're running. You can run Rad Studio from Visual Studio, or I have a shortcut on my desktop already, so we're going to use that. All right, and this is Rad Studio. You'll notice it says test database connection passed. That means your database connection is good. So as long as you get that, you should be okay. And we're going to create our account widget project. We're going to browse for the uh, the project we just created. That's in my projects and here it is count widget data lib all right and next we're going to add the database and my server name is data and we're going to update and we're going to select the count widget database all right now there's a couple things we need here i just happen to know we're going to need it because we're um we're going to add object library dot enumerations. This is a reference we're going to need because we're going to add an enumeration later in this video. And we're also going to need it in the data readers. So click the same thing, click add, and I'm going to paste it in. So it's object library dot enumerations. All right, and now we're ready to build our project. Okay, now we're also going to click include the project files. You only need to do this the first time you create project files. So if you just change a field name or add a field, you don't need to click the include project files. But every time the first time you do it and any time you add new tables or views, uh, you're going to need to include the project files. This saves you adding about nine files manually. That's what I did for years. So hopefully you appreciate this little utility here. All right, and this shouldn't take very long yeah, being a small project. When you get larger projects, it does take a little while. All right, and we're going to close that. We're now going to open up our project in Visual Studio, and I'll show you what we just created. Okay. All right, these are the class objects we created. We're going to delete the temporary business class that was only there to help you uh, compile. But you'll see the properties, one for each field in your database, plus an extra a property for delete and is new. Um, all right, this is the gateway. The gateway is now code generated, so here you'll get a method for every uh, class the init method. is The template's a little different formatting, but basically you get a method for the full cred method, so you can save, update, delete, and uh, uh, yeah, anyway. So that's the uh, 
There's one thing I want to show you here in page though is the field called account type. Wait, wrong one. That's the business class. Sorry. Or the data class. So the data, we use partial classes, so the business class you can customize and the data class will be updated when you uh, recode generate. Now you'll notice the account type is not an enumeration. So <coughs> this is the sample enum that comes with the template, so we're going to go ahead and change that to account type enum. By doing that, this gives us, anytime the field account type is used, we can in the client, uh, the, the object will have account type, and you know, as an enumeration instead of just an integer so that way the values are the only the choices we want so all right and the different account types per account widget you're allowed a certain number of transactions based upon your account um, the free account is allowed 1000 per month the standard account can do 10000 per year, uh, month and that's only $10 per year the pro account can do 100,000 per month, and that's $10 per month. And then the enterprise can do 100, I mean, can do 1 million per month, and that's $50 per month. And then the unlimited is $100 per month. So we're going to make this an actual project and a demo. So that's the idea, anyway. All right. So now. We're gonna. We need to realize we need to make account type and enumeration. So we're gonna go back to Rad Studio. We're gonna open up our account widget project, and we're gonna edit the project. And this time we're gonna add an enumeration. Click account type is the field name, and then account type enum is the uh, enumeration name. All right, we're gonna save that, and now we're gonna build again. Um, now we're going to go back to our project. All right, now if you look at the company.data, you'll see that now the field account type is now an enumeration. So that's what we were trying to accomplish. So, and make sure our project builds. And the project rebuilds. So, all right. So that is in the uh, the next video. We're going to show you more about how to use the class library we just created. But this video was how to get started and get Red Studio up and installed. And uh, there's one last thing we need to do before we uh, finish, and that's execute the store procedures that we just created. So we're going to open up SQL Server in our project directory. Go to the data access component, the store procedures directory, store procedures SQL, and then click on the file store procedures.sql. And make sure you have the right database selected and execute. And now we're going to open up our store procedures directory, and here's all the store procedures we just created. So now our data access component is ready to use in a client application, which is going to be our next video. So. I just wanted to get you an introduction how to get started with Red Studio. I hope you uh, like it. Yeah, and there's plenty of things you can do with Red Studio. We'll show you more of those in later videos, but hope you enjoy it.